Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Have you ever had one of those days where it just seems like nothing goes right? And I always talk about this. It seems like it always comes in threes. So we've had all kinds of stuff go wrong lately, unfortunately. And if you're new to reselling, this is the kind of thing you just gotta be prepared for. But then one of them was completely out of, well, a few of them are completely out of my control. And one of them is something I think eBay really should fix. I can't even believe they allow this stuff to happen anyways. There must be some kind of glitch or something because this seems so odd but we did have some good sales and some bad news too let's go take a look i might have to close my door here i'm here all by myself right now everybody's gone doing something except for bubba's girlfriend's brother is here he does some weed eating for us, which is really awesome. I hate weeding. I kind of like mowing, which I don't do as much of, but my dad is actually out of town on a cruise, 50th anniversary. I don't know if y'all can find this somewhere, but happy anniversary to y'all. It's a little early, but they're on their 50th anniversary cruise. I just walked past what I was looking at books and it's not even in there anyways. First sale right here is an awesome, I'll talk about this on the podcast. I don't think it's come, actually it might've come out. Yeah, it did come out. It came out a couple weeks ago, actually, on Come Up Picker Channel. Totally by accident. Well, not really. It just looked like a cool old Mario book sitting on a dollar table um, by Valiant at a churchyard sale in Roanoke, Virginia. And I just grabbed it as I walked past and looked it up when I got home. And it goes for good money. I actually think I undersold this a little bit, but the condition wasn't perfect on it. And I put it out there for 60 bucks. And it sold quickly. It looks like an offer. So $56.95 for that Super Mario book right there. That's a pretty good little flip. A buck into $57 plus shipping. So if you hear weed eating out there, it's Bubba's girlfriend's brother. That might be Bubba's future brother-in-law. No pressure, guys. No pressure. But listen, I'm going to get to what eBay really... I don't even understand how they let this happen. I'm going to get that in a minute. But there really has been quite a few upsetting things you know the things that happen those those returns that happen one of them was my stupid mistake i literally shipped out the wrong thing to somebody i talked about it a little bit the other day and i got that one fixed and i did it again i really can't believe i did it again and it wasn't because something was in the wrong place or the SKU system or whatever i just pulled an item and it was almost identical to the other item and i didn't double check and I usually do, and I just didn't, so I've had two of those lately, and this one's going to get fixed as well. It's, it's not a big deal, but that coupled with two other returns, and one of them was a return on a DVD-VCR combo, and we test those every single time, and so it's a little upsetting. I haven't had a return on a DVD-VCR combo or a VCR in a very, very long time. And we finally had one, which is a little upsetting, but you know, that stuff does happen. And I really shouldn't have said I was here by myself, but you can tell I'm here by myself because this dog comes in here all the time. I've got a Volkmanis puppet, which we sold that rooster the other day. We talked about this on the Trash to Cash podcast. Apparently, Carrie and Don been selling these for years, but this big bad wolf right here, puppet, freaky looking puppet, that sold really quickly. That's pretty cool let me see if I can show you the puppet action there and like I said I love puppets because I sell even ones that other people can't sell sometimes you sell them as a golf club head cover and they sell I just put that in the title but I didn't do that on this one because this one had a great sell through rate folk tales folk manis folk tales because it's the big bad wolf it's got the tag on it $45 plus shipping and so of course when it rains it pours I'm going to talk about some feedback that i got the other day and this is where i think ebay really has screwed something up here this isn't your normal feedback story this is a little bit different but you know we've had some great sales too these are two really cool items that's over a hundred and i don't know what is that over a hundred dollars in in two sales right there buy cost super super low so i'm not trying to get people down but you know how it is matter of fact put your worst day ever you know what's the the horror story on ebay put that down below not to scare people off just to say hey this stuff happens and it's happened to me you know i I'll talk about when I'm, i go forever without a return without a negative feedback and then all of a sudden it all seems to happen all at once and that's what happened i got another return on a jersey that the person said ah, it just doesn't fit and there was one more just a few days before that so a total of four returns in like a week stretch or less than a week that is crazy and un very unfortunate, un you know, one of them was my mistake, of course, so I can't blame anybody else for that. 
and you know the jersey not fitting that kind of stuff happened but it seems like when it rains it pours but good news as well you know some cool sales this was one i picked up from the ghostbusters movie when we went to the show i thought i was going to keep it and turner really liked it too but i decided i was going to sell it because my ebay cave is not ready for displaying stuff so i figured you know what i'm gonna sell it and then maybe i'll find something down the road that i like a little better but you know we made a little bit of money on this i can't remember what we paid 25 bucks or something for it so for 40 what does one sell for 47 dollars and 45 cents so not a huge profit but still you know when you go to the movies it's so dang expensive you might as well pick up some things if you feel like you can sell them and we did i should have worn one of my ghostbuster shirts i have i'm up to three i think i'm gonna add a couple more i love ghostbusters this is good stuff this one went to gina i think nope mickey so gina must be your wife i suppose thanks kevin my theater is sold out of these this will go great with my ghostbusters collection thanks for the videos been a big help in my reselling and on youtube thanks mickey mcflippins on youtube m-i-c-k-f-l-i-p-p-i-n-s so we appreciate that very much and i hope you enjoy that thing right there i'm kind of sad it's gone you probably hear that weed eater out there so i was going to start into my ebay I should fix this thing but i'm going to wait just a second till he's gone and i gotta find these i'm looking for rocky and bowwinkle dvds there they are right there and i picked these up you know, a lot of times I'll look, nope, that's not even, that's my favorite Martian. I'm surprised those haven't sold yet. Those had a good sell-through rate. All right, I turned the camera off and turned it back on. It took me forever to find it. I had to get really low because it's actually up here. Like, where in the world are these stinking things? So, Rocky Bow Winkle, you know, you look through those DVD bins sometimes for a buck or whatever, and it's, you never find anything. But every once in a while, I saw these sealed Rocky and Bow Winkle, and I'm like, yeah, they're probably pretty good, and they turned out to be okay. $15.95 plus shipping. You know, it always seems to happen after you've had a bunch of sales and then it happens on a slow day and then it's like, oh, nothing but bad news. And you know what? It kind of did this time, but the next day sales picked up and we're actually, we had a few really good ones just come in. Looks like we're at 21 for just a shade over a thousand bucks. And the last few we're going to put on tomorrow. But. So Whitman's, an old Whitman's candy box. That one's really cool. Kind of a mosaic look to it, almost Byzantine. And I really like that one. And I buy, I bought this from a lady. She sells at this one sale that they have twice a year. That's a little ways away from here, but I like that sale. It's inside. It's usually in a time where yard sales aren't really hot and heavy. And she sells on eBay and she watches my channel here. So hello out there. And she always has some kind of borderline eBay stuff. So I try to find something that I can buy from her. And this is one of them. I think it sold for $22, $21.95 plus shipping. Side note, you might have saw that sitting back there on the ground. I decided I'd finally put it up there. You know, those fire extinguishers sometimes can be like, well, not iffy. They're always good. But for the trouble, you might not want to pick them up. But that one was a hitter right there. That one was in beautiful, beautiful. I've never seen one that good before. You know, I've sold those before, those fire extinguishers, maybe three times, four times. But I've never sold this thing before. Canon Easy Troll. I've never seen one before. And I saw one at a sale the other day, and I paid just, like, I don't know, five bucks for it, I think. And it has a chip right here where you put the fishing pole. And it's not perfect, but it's working. And, you know, you mount this to the back of your boat or whatever, and you troll, and it comes, I don't know. But I looked them up, and I'm, I was surprised. You know, some of them go for a couple hundred bucks. But with that issue there, I just put out there for $100 plus shipping. So, all right, he's still weed eating out there. So I'm just going to get into this eBay thing anyways, because, you know, <laughs> some things you can control. And when I make a mistake, you know, you just eat it, right? You just own up to it, you make a mistake. But this one I didn't make a mistake on. And I'm still not going to request feedback revision, and it's because they left a neutral but, and it's just a time thing, but, you know, normally I would, if it was negative feedback, I would definitely get this one removed. And I'm going to show you the item it was for, because you can clearly see it's it's still here. And this is an odd one. It is this Rawlings, vintage Rawlings leather football helmet. I'm just going to leave it right there, but that's what it's for. And I sold it. I remember when it sold. It's been a while ago now. I should look back on the dates on that. When I sold it, I was super excited because when I bought it, there were no comps out there for that thing. And I can't remember what I paid, 
probably 15, 20 bucks for it. And I'm like, I don't know if it was good or not, but I felt like it was good. And so I brought it home and I put it out there for a price and was getting some views and some watchers. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna be good. And so I took an offer. I took a best offer from somebody for $125. Actually, it was listed at 125. I think we sold it for 100 plus shipping. I'm like, cool. You know, it had condition issues. If it was perfect, probably would have been worth a lot more. And as you can see, it's currently listed. So something happened here. So the feedback here is from, well, I'm not going to mention the name. You know, there's obviously some kind of misunderstanding. I don't think this is malicious. So no ill intent if you ever see this out there. But the feedback says, pretty simple here, still haven't gotten the item. And I'm like, what? I'm like, this thing sold. And I immediately saw, before I ever shipped it, a cancellation request. I'm like, what? Okay. So I went on there and I canceled it. And so they left this feedback, still haven't gotten the item. So I went back and looked. You can even see it there on the listing. Maybe I'll pop it up and remove the names to protect the innocent, I guess. But you'll see that it's crossed out. So it was a best offer. And then I clicked on the item and it said that the item has been canceled. So I went and looked at the cancellation request and it was done by the buyer. So they sent the cancellation request and I canceled the item on their behalf. So how in the world can somebody leave any feedback whatsoever for a cancel request? And that's what's happened here. So am I missing something? Are people allowed to leave feedback on an item that's been canceled either by the buyer? That would make more sense, right? If I canceled it because I couldn't find it or something, they could leave feedback. I don't like that either, but at least that makes more sense than me canceling it on their behalf. Buyer requested cancelization or cancelization. So I don't know, but they left feedback, you know, they didn't leave negative feedback, but they left feedback and I was going to, you know, I was like, eh, maybe I should call on this one. But, you know, the truth of the matter is that the time it takes to deal with this kind of stuff isn't really worth it, especially if it's neutral. Now, if it was negative, I would have I would have called eBay. I figured this thing out, but I left a reply. And I don't remember ever leaving. I've probably done it a few times. I don't leave replies to to many things. Just time is important, right? If you're trying to make money. You need time in order to list stuff that makes you money. But I did reply, you asked me to cancel the item after you bought it, which I did. I'm very confused as to why you would leave negative feedback after requesting a cancellation to get a refund. So probably should have sent him a message as well because, you know, who knows what happened. Maybe, maybe this guy's wife went on there and be like, no, he's not buying this and I'll cancel it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who knows? My wife wouldn't. Well, maybe she would. I wouldn't do it to her. I'd be scared. But at any rate, it's still out there and we hope we make a sale. But things are looking up today compared to the last few days. So I'm really happy about that. Let me know. Have you ever got negative feedback? Negative feedback from somebody who requests a cancelization? That would be an issue to me. So some Tupperware. I haven't been in the Tupperware. I've been in a few days. So I'll have to find this one. These must have been down in there for a while. They were way in the back on the bottom. Two little Tupperware containers, you know. I try to do $15 and above on eBay these days, but I still let myself go a little cheaper on Tupperware because, you know, if you <laughs> you won't have a ton of Tupperware in there if you're not selling stuff that's a little lower than that. $12.95 for these two plus shipping. I used to be pretty particular. My feedback would have to be at 100% or I'd get all upset. Now it's at 99.8 and you know what? I am now okay with it bought the actually i didn't buy this i think uncle steve picker gave me this either that or maybe my mom and dad i can't remember it's a magellan oh i don't even know you might not even care but it's a maestro gps navigator bundle touch screen and it might have been from uncle steve i can't remember whoever gave me this thank you sometimes uncle steve you know he lives down there near raleigh or in raleigh the land of milk and honey for a lot of pickers especially garage sellers at any rate I th he may have given me this because he, he doesn't bother with $25 items. You know, he's kind of bougie picker down there because you have so much. But that sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Y'all can see the eBay cave here. We have been super duper busy listing big stuff, which is awesome. The system this year is working really, really good. I've been getting stuff listed. I listed a bunch today. I'm looking for a 1955 Chevy manual. Probably is going to be in the bottom. Murphy's Law, huh? It wasn't in the bottom. It was about halfway down. This one sold. I don't remember what it sold for. It sold for $32.95.
plus shipping. You know, manuals, I used to sell tons of them. Now there's so many that just, you know, aren't really worth it to sell. But apparently this one was good enough. Somebody grabbed it. $32.95 plus shipping. It's another interesting question here since we're talking about feedback here. What, what is the level that you're comfortable at as a buyer on eBay? If you looked at somebody's feedback, what is that level that you just, you know, obviously if, for me, you know, if you're in the 80s, my goodness, there's no way I'm probably buying from you. But, you know, what is that level that's acceptable? Is it 98? Is it 99? Do you have to see 100%? I'm just curious as buyers out there, what level are you looking for? Sold something out of the pants bin, which is really cool. These were, I knew these would be easy to find. They're micro corduroy. And they got the tiny little corduroy stripes right there. True religion. So not a, little, not a bad little sale right here. I think they sold for 25 bucks. $25 plus shipping on those. So true religion still sells. Not nearly as good as it used to, but it still sells. I put this on the screen so I'd remember something. Somebody asked me about the other channel where you can watch the whatnots on. So we don't put it on Flipper and we don't put it on Picker. And we don't put shorts on either of those channels really either. We used to a little bit, but there's a lot of folks who don't like shorts. And there are some folks who only watch shorts. So we put the Garage Sale shorts over on Garage Sale Nation YouTube channel. We also have a Garage Sale Nation Facebook group for highway sales. And that's a really cool one. I look on there all the time. I created it for everybody, but I use it all the time to find where those highway sales are at. But anyway, it's going to take just a little while to dig. We've started to put a few more. I've been buying less and less of the banners. You used to see me sell them all the time. And I still pick them up if they're a buck. But they don't go for a ton, so I don't pick them up as much. Might take me a minute. I'm looking for an Easter banner here. There, I found it. And I still have a bunch of banners in there. A little happy Easter banner. And giant Easter egg, I guess. It's always surprising to me how much stuff sells after the holiday goes past. But $8.95 plus shipping. I picked some ink up off of a dollar table. And sometimes, you know, ink is hit and miss too. People always tell me, why'd you walk past that ink? at that sale and i'm like well that wasn't very good but this one turned out okay a little 901 xl and paid a dollar so for 24.95 plus shipping next one i really needed to sell pretty quickly because we're getting overstocked on games lately and this one was pretty cool one that i picked up and i think it was keith who sent me a message saying he was a magician or owns a magician shop or both down in florida and he was interested in this and we gave him a little bit of a deal and here it is right here the magic 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 game from rimco and i bought this at that sale from the picker video not too long ago that lady was a tough negotiator boy i hear him still out there weeding my goodness he's doing a good job i guess i let you look out my back window but i haven't cleaned it since last fall <laughs> need to and this game right here i think it was complete or almost complete what does it say no it says complete and so that game's got a pretty good sell-through rate at pretty good prices. I think I put it out there for $60, $56.95. And I think I told him I'd refund him. Uh oh, he's right in front of the shed now. So I got—I owe him a $6.95 refund. So thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. Definitely right in front of the shed. <laughs> what is your store? Magic Man Keith is your name. Thank you. There you go. That's Bubba's girlfriend's brother. And Wallen's out there chasing him. Hey, back to the video games back here. Sold a DS game. I came across a yard sale that had tons of DS stuff, but almost all of it was low end. But this one turned out to be pretty good. Ben 10. And that one is a, it's a, it's a triple pack, and it's complete, and it's in good shape. So for $24.95. By the way, Bubba's girlfriend's brother is a nice, nice kid. At least he is to me. Bubba's girlfriend can be a little mean to me, so I'm I'm a little partial to, to her brother. Wallen was about to get a little weed eater right in the snout, weren't you? You're getting too close to him. I'm going to cut your nose off. Sold a Family Guy item, and it's been just not quite, um, not quite a year, but it's getting close for that giant Family Guy lot that we bought out last year. And we truly, truly are towards the very, very end. There's a few pieces here. And then we sold a Quagmire right here and so you can see we're down to this isn't even all family guy stuff anymore so see if i can find quagmire this one's that shady looking one here hmm nope that isn't it of course it's gonna be the last one i pull this is gonna be it right there 
Oh boy, Quagmire and his doll. And that sold for forty dollars plus shipping. Look at this pup. Now you're all acting sad now, cause I yelled at you. I don't have a treat. I got a sticker. Willie bought a sticker, and he bought it off of Dibdit.com, and I didn't even remember that I had these over there. So thank you. We appreciate that. We also have my CommonwealthPicker.com, but we put them over there as well. So thank you, Willie. Sold another one of these ELF things. And they have done really, really well for us. When I bought them, I wasn't quite sure. You just never know. I think the reason they're doing well for us is a lot of people are selling singles. And we're selling doubles. Just to get over that $15 mark. So $16.95 plus shipping. And we have three left. Check that out, though. I didn't show you the front. How cool are those? Rocky and Bow Wingle. Right there. I got the art on the disc, too. Love those. Yo, I am dealing with one sad puppy. And poor Sophie hadn't come down to visit me in a while. I might have to get her and bring her down, I think. She's getting a little older. I don't like to come visit. You like to visit, but I don't like you when you're grumpy. You got all this grass in your hair. Sold another one of these. We just sell them like crazy. We're going to run out of these. I guess we got to lower the price on these other styles, but... Uh, WrestleMania did a pretty good job on these old NWO ones for us. So that one sold for $9.95 for your shipping. All right, y'all, Turner's got some Commonwealth comedy. What do you got, bud? Why did the zombie eat a bowl of Cheerios? Why did a zombie eat a bowl of Cheerios? I don't know. He wanted to be a serial killer. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Now I got two sad animals right out of here. Oh, yeah. Pepper doesn't like No Name too much. Gets a little scared of him. You're a little rough, huh? Ever been to those sales where you just walk in and you ask a price for something and it's super cheap so you just start buying everything because you can afford to make a mistake or two. You just want to pile it up because it's such a good deal. I have run into multiple sales like that lately and buying stuff that I don't even know about that I've never sold before just simply because it looks cool. I don't even know if this is the right one. See, there's two boxes right here. See, there's a box of arrows and then this box of arrows. But one of them has targets, and I think that's what this is. And they said 10 bucks for all the arrows. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. This is 30 arrows and the target sheets right there. And that box sold for $59.95, so $60. I paid 10 for this one and that big box back there. So pretty darn good deal. And I don't really want to open that box right there because it's all nicely packed and stuff. But this box here, York Arrows, wooden, old vintage wooden arrows. And they're in pretty darn good condition with the box and stuff. So I'm like, 10 bucks for everything? Shoot. And I definitely grabbed it. So I'm pretty happy about that purchase. Not the easiest to package up, but certainly worth the money. All right, Joe Reagan has some says out of come on Picker.com. What do you got, babe? Uh, Nancy got a giant animal man and a hillbilly sticker. And Ronnie got a number three and a hillbilly sticker. Thank you, baby. Bye. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthBaker.com. <laughs> and I have one more t-shirt. And we've had some sales come in during this show. Can't wait for the next one. And this Petra shirt sold. And y'all might remember, we bought these a long time ago. And we are down. This is Petra starts here, I think. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, nine more. Nine more Petra shirts is all we have, and we had like 60, I think. I mean, there was a ton of them. These aren't vintage Petra. If you find vintage Petra, they'll go for big bucks. This is much more modern, and I don't know the year on this one. And they're also very small sizes, but I got them dirt cheap. I think I paid like 10 cents a piece or something like that. So they don't sell for much but because of the small sizes, but it's still $15 plus shipping, so... Can't beat that, and it was a multi-quantity listing. I think I have one more small left. Looks like I got a, one more visitor here today. How you doing, Pepper? I gotta go do some work in the other shed. We gotta go take some pictures. We gotta go list some stuff. But I'll give you some treats. What do you think? You want some treats? All right, I am headed out to the other shed, and I do have quite a bit of work to do. To keep this pace up, sales have been going really, really well. And then I'm gonna come in later tonight with my wife. Uh, we have a dinner date, so I gotta hurry out there and get a little work done. And then we're going to come back here and ship this stuff. Then the kids will be back and it's just never ending. But I just absolutely love this stuff. Hey, I wanted to mention something real quick that you guys gave so much to so many different charities this year. 
And I, I can't tell how much you guys have given on your own to some of this stuff. But I did get the numbers back when I was doing the tax return and everything. You guys, through us, you guys donating to us, giving, that's just not, that's not all of it. But the part that came from you guys, 50-50 auctions and all that stuff, that went out to other charities. Also, that big giant reseller rally show as well. I don't even think that's on here. We did that thing separate because it came through. It didn't come through as a donation. It came through. Anyway, you get the point. Over $8,000 that you guys have given. And I know so many of you have given <laughs> Pepper caught up in her little thing. I just want to say thank you because I just got done with all that stuff. So we really do appreciate you. And I hope you don't have bad days too often like we had the other day. So appreciate you stopping by and I can't wait to see you next time.